uh, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to, like, let's, you know, what we can do is just, like, let's put option one, all windows. And let's just bake this in. Or what one thing we can do, obviously, is to put sort of a legend title is a percentage, right? And global title is going to be daylight autonomy. Right click and bake this to. Oh, there's another. Yeah. Right click, bake this to. And leave it as it is. And preview this off. Let's create another layer, option two, with west only. So what we're going to do now, we're going to run this, but this time we'll be only putting the west value in. Okay, so let me put it false. Where is my west facade? Is this one. So I'll connect only this west facade. and then run this and let's see what we are going to have at the end now probably we'll be seeing a bunch of other colors because we'll be only lighting our surface or lighting our geometry here on this part only so that will take a bit of like uh time for sure remember please remember the first one that we run took 1.3 mi minutes so it will be probably it will take around the same amount of minutes or seconds so we'll just wait a couple of more seconds here and then we'll see a different result like all these variations and things are quite important because we are actually now dividing this grid into 0 0.5 meters which is 50 centimeters each and with when we consider considering the given influence, you see, I'll come back to that as well. Now what we're seeing is this kind of a thing. And we see a lot of lights here, but we don't see a like, bunch of other things there. So we see zeros here. So what I'll, what I'll be doing is I'll just bake this west only and yes, please. And I'll preview this off. And now I'll be just putting only roof. So maybe I can duplicate this layer and roof only. Okay. And this time I'll just connect the roof only. And when we are running it through the roof, we'll be seeing some shit, like light here, but would it be enough for the average? We'll check, we'll check the average as well. Because the average is quite important. We are aiming to have more than 50% of the time that is uh, building, that this building is being occupied. Of course, by the way, we can change the type of glazing as well. And maybe we can take another look at that too. We don't see any results. Why? Hmm. Okay, because you see, we see this result. And what one thing we can do here is for these results, if we connect an average, See what is the average value here. Now, yeah, you see it's 35%. So it's a bit less. That's fine for now. And we can group this in and put this in. And one thing, one, one other thing we can do here is to preview this off. Duplicate layers, not with objects, sorry. 
delete this. Yes. Duplicate this. Proof only class tr 1.00. Okay, so we come back here and change the modifier is to 1.00. and see if you receive any further results. I mean, we are changing the type of the material now, which might be the case in your works or simulations. You may want to test, okay, I want to test this glazing, that glazing, so and so forth, and it will, uh, it will adapt itself quite fast. And you see, I have this, from XSplit Broadcaster. It, it takes a bit of a CPU as a couple of things are running at the same time. I can take it off for now. And I think we are almost done with this. So let's preview this on back again. Oh, let me make it one. It goes up. So let's see if we have any value. Yeah, we have the value and it goes to 38%, which is okay for this one. So let's break this results too. And so and so forth. So basically this is pretty much what we have done in this video, but let me group all this first. And in the next one, we'll be taking a closer look at some other aspects. Let me put it here. Let me put this back on where it was. Uh, I think it's supposed to be okay. 0 0.55. That's fine. And we can see a lot of different options here as well. So. Again, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next one, we'll take a closer look on what kind of other analysis that we can run.